back with you once again, bursting in on the scene thanks to dialing up the show. And let me ask you a question. Have you ever had a drink out of one of these red Solo cups? We all have, right? Whether we're adults or kids. But there's a rumor that says these lines in the cup actually have a special meaning. Let's find out. Kids love to stack them. College kids love to make drinking games out of them. But whatever you do with them, they've been around since 1936. Now, they started out in a paper form back then, but now they total more than $2.4 billion worth of sales every year. That's a lot of tasty beverages. But there's a rumor saying that these lines, well, they actually are measurements of alcohol. Is that true or is that false? Well, according to the Dark Corporation that now owns Solo, that's false. Recently, the Dark Corporation that makes Solo Cups put out a chart saying it's just a happenstance that these lines line up. But if you want to make an alcoholic measurement off of it, you would take the bottom line for a shot of liquor, the middle line would be a glass of wine, and the top line would be a can of beer. Now, while those measurements are just general happenstances, they also issued this chart, which says the bottom line would be a solid amount of mouthwash, middle line would be a standard serving of cereal, top line, the amount of water you should drink five times a day. Or how about this version? The bottom line would be enough chocolate syrup to make a glass of chocolate milk. The middle line would be the perfect amount of daily juice for kids. And the top line, a great recipe for Shirley Temple. One ounce grenadine, five ounce Sprite, and ice. You know you have a hit product on your hands, by the way, when they sell generic versions like this. Or even this one, but notice the different lines. It doesn't work the same. Hey, and by the way, wait till your 21 kids to start playing the college party games with these things. Jersey Joe here, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, I hope.